Hey guys, it's Greg from East Coast Dyes, back with another head review on TLN, and this week we've got the Nike Lakota U. Alright guys, so this week we are reviewing the Nike Lakota U. Uh, the Lakota was one of the best-selling heads of uh, 2012 and 2013, and they came back and made an X-Pec version. So it's got the 3 inches down low, 6.5 and up top, legal for all levels of play. So our first rating criteria is price, and this head is listed online right now at $74.99. And for that price, this head gets a 10. Easily the best value head on the market. $75 is very cheap for a top-end brand new head, and I would highly recommend it uh, if you're looking for something a little cheaper, and uh, but still a great head. $75 is a terrific value for this head. Next up, we've got stringing. Uh, so like I said, this head is X-Spec, so it's a little bit wider but it's still strung extremely easily. Uh, Nike actually made a couple improvements from the Lakota uh, in the string department. Some of these top holes are a little bit bigger than they were in the regular Lakota. You've got sidewall holes that go all the way top to bottom and four well-spaced bottom holes, as well as six uh, nicely sized top string holes. Uh, this head gets a nine in this category. I uh, don't necessarily love the hard edges on the sidewall holes and uh, they're a little small in the top string holes, but still was able to string a very nice pocket. So uh, the Nike Lakota U gets a 9, still strung very, very easily, uh, despite its wide face shape. Alright guys, so now we've got face shape. Again, this is an X-Pac head, legal for all levels of play. Uh, but this head is still going to get a 9 on face shape. I have to say, this is my favorite X-Pac face shape. I think it's pretty much perfect. Uh, it stays legal in the throat and goes up just high enough to make it so that stringing your channel isn't awkward. You don't have really, really straight sidewall holes and then an aggressive flare. Uh, it's sort of gradual, a little tighter than the Evo 4X, but a little more wide than the CEO and the Rabel X. Uh, the nice gradual flare makes it easy to string a smooth, gradual pocket. It's going to have a great release. So again, gets a 9 in the face shape category. Next we've got stiffness and durability. This head gets an 8 in stiffness and durability. Um, I know the Lakotas that I've had have a little bit of problem with warping and cracking down these bottom sidewall holes, but for the most part, uh, they are pretty good. This head you can feel is a little bit uh, less stiff than some of your defensive heads, but that's actually good for an offensive head. And they, I think they actually made it a little stiffer and a little more sturdy from the regular Lakota, uh, but you can tell uh, you know, it might warp a little bit on you and it might not be quite as stiff as some other heads out there, so for that, it gets an 8. And finally, we've got appearance. This head gets a 9 in appearance. Uh, I love the head this way, the way this head looks, and I know a lot of other people do. Uh, just two aggressive sidewall pieces there connecting it. Uh, keeps it stiff, but really looks really aggressive with the slant. Uh, nice forward cant here. Well-rounded scoop. Everybody loves that Nike check there on the scoop and in there on the, the new upgraded ball stop, which has got a little chrome on it, which looks really really nice they also added a few texture areas you can see in here it's got a checkerboard texture as well as under the sidewall and in the sidewall scoops uh, you can see I've got this one strung in all black and white looks really clean so a 9 in the appearance category so overall guys this head scored a 45 out of 50 on my ranking scale this is among the highest of any heads I've ever reviewed great great value head at $75 and I would highly recommend it to anyone looking for an X spec head so thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the Lacrosse Network for head reviews every Monday, and have a great day.